Hello there and welcome to Conversations on Consciousness. Today I would like to speak to you about depression. And what is depression? Depression is a state, an emotional, physical, mental or spiritual state of consciousness which we can sometimes be in throughout the day, throughout the month, throughout the year, at parts of our lives, the stepping stones of our journey, of our life which we are feeling depressed of, we're being, feeling trapped, we're being squashed. And this depression is something which we are not being our true self. We are ourselves, but however, we are being conditioned in a way that makes us question things negatively. We can be in a very dark space. We can be so depressed that the, the area around us is quite dark. For me, I went through a depressive state, um, an episode of my life after a relationship, which was like five or six years ago. I'm not gonna get into the, the story or anything, but it's how I felt at the time. All around me, life, I felt very, I given up hope, I given up trust on people around me, everybody. Um, it didn't last for long, but that time allowed me to understand more about human emotions, my own emotions, and how other people are in life. And along the way it became, <laughs> allow me to become more of a stronger person emotionally, to trust myself, to trust, trust others, to once again feel more free rather than feeling in my own jail. <laughs> Depression, what is it? for some people. Some people can be in it for many, many years. Some people are naturally biochemically depressed, you know, since very young. Others go through a traumatic episode in their life where they haven't learned the emotional muscles to deal with a certain situation. They haven't learned the social skills of communication, of opening up. So this depression is Although at this time, if you're watching this and you are depressed or going through some feelings of depression, just know that on the other side of all that, all those feelings, there is going to be a time of lightness, of greatness, of more trust for yourself. Now, I'm not perfect. We're all not perfect. We're here to learn from much of this life as we can. And in my eyes, in the many years that I've been here already on earth in this space that I believe that we're here to learn to be better of ourselves to help others to be in service to ourselves our own mission and to help many other people so what I ask is that if you are feeling depressed now this is coming from my own experience just know that you'll get through it it may take a bit of time but what will help you is being around like-minded people who are of love and light, who are of happiness, who are, who are people who are motivating, successful. And if you are feeling depressed, try and look at the people that are around you. Now, I'm not asking you, especially during these times of 2021, lockdown, pandemic, if you only have a certain group of friends around you or family, it can be tough, it can be difficult. However, social media, and the people that surround you. If you are surrounded by people who are very draining, drama, uh, dramatic, negative, always talking about the news, then just, I'm not asking you to, to ditch your, your friends. This is your choice who you choose. And sometimes we can't choose the people that we are around. However, we have choices in which we engage with these people who can be very negative and draining and draining our energy. And this can even be like a psychic attack in a way where the person doesn't even know they're doing it. Psychically, they are draining you, your resources, your energy, your emotions. And sometimes you can be in a situation where you are completely drained to the soul of helping that person. But the most important person, as you know, to help is yourself. Like that is very important. You know, you need to help you, you. This journey of 2020, 2021, the pandemic, the pandemia, lockdown, we have been told to self-isolate, be in our own homes and deal with our emotional, mental baggage and traumas 
our difficulties and the things that we didn't even realize that we had. During 2020, the dark times, as people would be calling it, the COVID, when it all started and the first and second lockdown in England, the first was a bit tough. You know, I had no access to speak to anybody uh, physically. I was pretty much on my own, like every day. And it helped to really be on my own. And I was always happy in my own energy, my own space. But after many months, many weeks of being just on your own, I learned to just deal with it just that little bit better. Um, at the time, it was, I think, March, um, April, May time. Um, and even the second lockdown during the summer, it was a beautiful time because I was outside enjoying nature, enjoying the warmth, and I was able to do many different things. And I think being out in nature really helps because being in nature is, is natural to us. And so if you are feeling depressed, if you are going through depression or low states, or you go through trauma or something sad, if we've lost our dog, if we've lost a family member, a friend, a colleague, if we've lost a part of ourselves, no matter how tough life is, get out. Get out in nature, be around trees, be around nature, see some landscapes, breathe in the fresh air, take off your mask, be around just nature and no, no, nothing else, and just really just breathe nature and just be, and just be grateful that I'm able to be outside and be in nature, if possible. I know that some areas in the world are quite difficult with where you can go and where you can walk and where you can be in nature. However, it's important to come back to nature, to come back to what you know we call source in a way, because nature is source. It's where we were born, where we were meant to be. We weren't meant to be inside a house in front of screens, in front of computers, in front of social media, 24 seven all, all the time. But it's important to have that break away. When you sleep, you recharge yourself emotionally, mentally, physically to renew yourself, to feel more energized and better and healthier, to get re that renewal that you need. So being out in nature helps you to release, relieve that suppression, that depression or being depressed and contained in your own thoughts, in your own fears, traumas, whatever is going on, or the, the impact that a situation has had you. Now just go out and just go for a walk. Don't take your phone with you, take it in case of emergency, just don't look at it, turn, turn it off with you. Don't even have music on, just listen to the rustling of leaves, the wind, feel the warmth on your face from the sun or the coolness of the air, feel the air passing through your your hair, your, your fingertips, and just touch the earth, you know. And I'm not telling you to go all spiritual hippie on, on this situation, but just connect with nature, you know, just to sit, sit on a log, sit on the ground, just reflect and just be, and give that time to really have time for you. And this is what we all need. We all need to come back to nature. And that depression that we may have within ourselves is a time where we are not being our true potential, we are being suppressed. It's like when you live, imagine if you are in a house and you never could go outside and you're in a stuffy room all the time, it can get depressing. No matter how beautiful the room may be, no matter how clear it is, get outside in nature. It's important to have those na that natural light. Natural light is very important for us, very powerful, very energizing, for lots of health benefits. Vitamin D on the skin, on the body to energize ourselves. We are, at nature, solar powered beings. You know, we need light in our life. We need the sunlight. We need light, natural light, not the, the light from screens or LED, which is at a certain frequency that you know, is vibrating at a certain uh, wavelength, which isn't healthy for us. We need natural light, ultraviolet light, which covers all the spectrum of different colors. Seeing the sunrises, the sunset, seeing the moon, seeing the changes in the sky and just being out is just very refreshing for the soul. A state of depression is a place where you can be not yourself, your energy, your auric field is being suppressed in a way that you feel like you are, you cannot breathe. 
And no matter how long this depression may be for you, if you are going through depression or know somebody that is depressed, then just know that time is a great healer and it can really help you to be yourself, to be to be your true self by having time. Time is a great healer and just know that don't judge a person the way they are, they're just going through something. If you see someone angry in the day at work, out in the street, wherever, in your current life, if you see them struggling or angry, upset, just know that that state of emotional struggleness, struggling, is a time where they are feeling in that way, but it's not forever. And the same for yourself. If I'm speaking directly to you and you are feeling a certain way, unhappy in any way, just know that this, those negative feelings are not going to be there forever. And you're not alone either that many other people are feeling exactly the same thing as you or somebody that you know who may be depressed. That it is an emotional, it is part of our, not our nature, but it is a natural feeling, an emotional feeling that is, makes us human. You know, if something happens, if we lose our home, of course we're gonna feel depressed, but how is that not gonna, not gonna affect us? It shows that we have emotions, it shows that we have a heart, we have feelings. And we are emotional, we are walking emotional beings, you know, with all this emotions and memories and beauty inside us. And with that, there is positivity, love and creation and creativity, passion, romance, happiness, a place where you can dance inside your heart. Now, things that may help you to go through this depressive stage is, you know, put some music on dance, do the things that you love doing, don't be sat in front of a TV or or something watching, watching something online all the time, be creative, do some painting, do some drawing, tidy the place, put some music on, move your body, keep fit, release those in, in, endorphins in your body, those good feel hormones and you'll, you'll feel good in no time and the most important thing is having good quality sleep. Without good quality sweet sleep, <laughs> we don't function. We are not sweet. <laughs> we become dull. And the times in, in winter it can be the worst, especially in Europe. England, it's, it's light from like 7 or 8 a.m. It doesn't get dark till 4 p.m. It's six, six and a half, seven hours of daylight, and that's it. And in the summer times in England, that's why people are so happy and buzzy and and full of life is because it's light from 4 a.m. in the morning till half 10 or 11 at night. It's, we see the sunset and the sunrises. We have a whole day of warmth and, and, and beauty. And many countries around the world, you know, Central America, um, other places across the world who have a beautiful temperature and the same, you know, enough sunlight throughout the day to keep them happy. Sunlight is important. Just remember that you know natural light is important, but technology like light machines can also assist in the process of having a frequency that you can attune to that can help you um, be in a certain way, be in a certain primary frequency. So whatever you choose to do, do something that's creative, that moves your body, that allows energy to fl flow through you. And I'm sure that you are totally going to lift that depression, that depression, lift that depressive state and feel more freer in yourself and feel empowered and know that you have your happiness, you're healthy, everything is okay. And remember, time is your best friend. So I hope this helped. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope this has helped in some way or helped someone around you that is feeling depressed. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye.